Okay everyone, welcome back to Mike's Yoga Channel and welcome to this super quick bedtime yoga. When you're ready, roll your mat, put on something comfy, and let's get started. Okay everyone, so let's begin coming into an extended child's pose. So let's bring our knees as wide as the mat, letting the big toes touch behind you. And then from here, start to walk your hands along in front of you. You can let your forehead rest in the mat here, really breathing into the back body, breathing into the hips. I encourage you to close your eyes. And on your next exhale, let's slowly release. Start to slowly walk it back up. From here, let's make our way onto our bums and extend our legs out long. Once we have our legs extended out long, on your next inhale, let's bring our hands up towards the sky. Exhale, just simply melt it forward, coming into a forward fold. If you can, grabbing onto the toes or the feet. If you can't, that's okay. You can just let your hands rest where they naturally fall. And in this pose, we're really breathing into the back of the legs. And on your next exhale, slowly release, roll it back up. From here, let's make our way onto our backs. Take your time getting there. And once you do get there, let's hug our knees into our chest and wrap our arms around our legs, giving ourselves a nice hug. Feel free to rock side to side here, massaging the spine. And if this feels nice, we can just stay here or option to take a happy baby here as well. So to take happy baby, let's just bring the soles of the feet up towards the sky and grabbing on to the outsides of the feet. And if you come in a happy baby, really try and make sure that the full spine is rooted in the mat. So if the low back is coming up off the mat, see if you can bring the low back flush with the mat. As always, make sure to breathe. Wherever you are on your next exhale, slowly release. From here, we'll take a supine twist. So let's start by Hugging our right knee into our chest, extending our left leg long. And then from here, guiding our right knee over to the left side. Our right arm can come into a T or a cactus. And in this pose, really try and make sure both shoulders are firmly rooted in the mat. So if your right shoulder is coming up off the mat, see if you can dial it back so both shoulders are firmly rooted.
next exhale, slowly come back to center. Let's just simply take it over to the other side. So extending that right leg long, hugging our left knee into our chest. And then from here, guiding our left knee over to the right. So our left arm can come into a T or a cactus. Again, really try and make sure both shoulders are firmly rooted. So if your left shoulder is coming up off the mat, see if you can just dial it back. exhale slowly mindfully release come back to center from here we'll take a reclined butterfly so let's simply just bring the soles of the feet together letting the knees open up wide a couple options with your hands here you can have one hand rest on your belly the other one on your heart or you can just let both hands rest down by your sides one of my favorite hip hip openers I strongly encourage you to close your eyes here So I encourage you to stay here for as long as you like, or if you want, you can take a Shavasana, extending the legs out long, extending the arms out long. Again, keeping your eyes closed. Letting the body and the mind reap all the benefits of the short practice. Here, let's bring our hands up to our heart. Thank you all so much for sharing your time and your energy with me. I hope you all have amazing, peaceful sleeps. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. From here, let's bring our hands up to our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much.